first at 10, a family is shattered tonight by the tragic loss of a young mother who was killed in Detroit. It all stemmed from a speeding driver who was trying to avoid a traffic stop. Good evening to you. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. I'm Brian Abel. The driver ran a red light and slammed into her car at 8 Mile in Southfield yesterday morning. 7 Action News reporter Simon Shaquette has the new surveillance video and the urgent message from the victim's loved ones. The McCallum family has been devastated by this incredible loss. The mother of a two year old boy killed by a speeding driver attempting to avoid police. She loved being a mother to her son. Karen McCallum is speaking out after suffering the unimaginable and sudden loss of her daughter, 32 year old Kendall McCallum. She died early Thursday morning just after midnight. Surveillance video showing this speeding driver just prior to colliding with her vehicle. Then police arresting suspects after they say the driver failed to comply with a traffic stop for speeding. I can't really just wrap my head around what happened. I, it did not happen. What do you say to those who continue to drive in a dangerous fashion? Stop. You, you're hurting hundreds, thousands of people. Even though we have these speed bumps out here in between the speed bumps, they're still speeding. Um, you know, it's hard to sleep at night. Sometimes I live next to a major freeway. And you hear it sounds like almost like a racetrack. The Wayne County prosecutor has charged 21 year old Jordan Strotter with a crash that killed Kendall. His public driving record further backs up a history of failing to comply and driving illegally. Police say on Thursday he exceeded 70 miles an hour in a Jeep Grand Cherokee, striking Kendall's Ford SUV. This kid is, is, is looking for his mom to come home, and that's not going to happen. To see him run to the door every day and look because he's waiting on her to come in, to hear her, the sound of her keys, to hear the sound of her voice. He doesn't get that. Police say they also recovered a gun from Jordan's SUV and someone inside had a gunshot wound. Jordan and others riding with Kendall remain hospitalized with non-life-threatening injuries. It's just really hard to even think about what happened. The McCallum family is considering establishing a GoFundMe page to help take care of the two year old child now left without a mother. But in the meantime, they're just asking the community to offer their prayers and support. Simon Shaykat, 7 Action News.